the modeling industry today has undergone a complete makeover. With enough social media followers, today's it girl can become tomorrow's supermodel. As a former top model and businesswoman, I helped my daughters Gigi and Bella navigate this new world. Gigi is one of the most successful models working today. She's the face of the world's biggest designers and has graced the cover of Vogue over 20 times. So you have those sexy big billboards in mind and really how you get there is first mastering how to be natural. Bella was 2016's model of the year. She walked the runway for the top fashion houses and is the face of the most iconic beauty brands in the world. I'm just like you guys, and I started out the same way. And Now, I've started to manage new models to help young girls realize their modeling dreams. Love her here, beautiful face. Out of thousands of submissions, I've chosen five lucky girls. It's Brianna, Mackenzie, Michaela, Athena, and Lillian. They will work closely with me as I give them the tools to become a supermodel. Welcome to New York! And joining them on this journey will be their moms. Yes, that's my girl. Give me a hug. Because let's be honest, a model's mom will always be her biggest fan. <laughs> moms, use this time to guide your daughters and then learn to let them fly on their own. Together, moms and daughters will have eight weeks to prove they've got what it takes. Mackenzie, girl! Black bigger! Ha, ha! She looks like a real Tommy girl. One young model will win a contract with me and the opportunity to be repped by IMG, the biggest modeling agency in the world. Each assignment will expose them to the tough challenges of the modeling industry. Come running to me, run a little more. Supermodels aren't born overnight. One, two, three, go. That ain't gonna work. I need to see the tiger in you. This is the career I want. If this is what you want for your life, you're gonna have to shake it off, sister. The stakes are high. Any change, but sorry. What happened? It's very painful on the foot. Yeah, well, that's part of the job. But the results will be life-changing. I'm just so ready to win. I'm so ready to win. I have one more surprise. We're not in a normal situation. No, it's like a roller coaster. This whole thing is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I want to go home. Go, go. I'm the most protected mama bear you're ever going to cross. I'm in the judgment seat as much as the girls are. Oh, you are so funny. I can feel there's a little tension in the air. Hello. Hi. Hi. So. Can we lay them all out and Let's do check it. it out? Stefan is a creative director that I work with. He's worked for magazines like Vogue, GQ, and many others. Definitely a beauty model. Ali is my eyes and ears. She's a scout and a booker for one of the top agencies in New York. After months of deliberation, I finally found my five girls, and I hope that one of them is going to be a superstar. But, you know, it's going to take work. This is going to be a boot camp, which is going to give them the tools to survive in this industry. I think it's going to be a lot of work. We're going to have eight weeks um, to groom these girls and get them to the best that they can be. I love that you're bringing their mothers. Love well, it. it's uh, it, at that age. It's, you it's, it's, not, your normal, <laughs> well, it's not your normal it's, model house, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, the moms are the foundation of the well-being of the child. Mm -hmm. And it's our duty as a mom to protect them, guide them, and allow them to, to fly on their own. Yeah. Yeah. The girls are finally arriving in New York City tomorrow and moving into the model house. Their first lesson will be a typical go and see, where you have about two minutes to impress a very important client. That client tomorrow will be me. <laughs> Voila! Go team. <laughs> This is your career, and you've got to take it serious. And I believe you're hungry. Are you hungry? Starving. 
Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Lillian. Lillian. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Kat. Hi, Kat. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. What is your dream? I'd be a Victoria's Secret model, and I want to be on Vogue, like, everywhere. I like that. You get along with everybody? I, I try, yeah. I think that you guys should go and do your digitals. We're going to take it from there. OK. I'm Kat. I'm Lillian. I am an awesome daughter to you. OK, arrogant. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> She was in Teen Vogue on the web, and she has done a print ad for Buick. 11 Fashion Weeks editorial. She's been in probably about 23 magazines. Personally, I think I'm pretty, pretty dang good. <laughs> the only people that I think are better than me in the modeling world are Kendall Jenner and Gigi, Gigi Haddad. I will be better than them one day. I'm a good person, but I'm also a mama bear. Mess with my kid and you're gonna get it. If you wanna tell me something, you tell me to my face. If you don't like me, you don't like me. I don't like you either. When I see Lillian, I see a girl with an edge. She's kind of badass. She's a firecracker. I see fitness ads and maybe even TV commercials in her future. When I see Kat, I kind of identify with her because she is a strong mama bear. But I also know from experience that as a strong mom, we need to learn to step back and allow our children to take this journey on their own. I'll see you at the house at 5 o'clock today. Thank you. What is your big aspiration? Catalog and lifestyle. OK, we're going to change that. Awesome. Well, your hair is amazing. We have a lot to work with. Athena's beauty is beyond. I'm seeing this amazing little diamond in the rough. Cute. <laughs> Very good. Right. Thank you. I'm Diana. And I'm Athena. We're trying to make the best of it for Athena's modeling career. I did a Nike shoot in Hollywood. I have done a lot of print and commercial and I've worked with two of the three biggest athletic companies in the world. Athena has what it takes to be a top model. I actually just started modeling. I used to as a teen, and then now I'm back. And so my husband was able to quit his job and stay home with the kids. I have seven kids. Yes. <laughs> Very controlled chaos with seven yeah. kids. She has more modeling experience than I do, but I have more you know, life skills than she does. Athena's age is going to be limiting, but I'm willing to take the chance because I just think that her face is extraordinary. She can do print, magazine covers, runway, as long as she hits that height. I think Diana is used to controlling every aspect of Athena's career, and it's questionable if she's gonna allow somebody to come in and advise her and help her daughter grow. All right, let's see. So, you are very cute. Thank you. <laughs> it's making me nervous. I'm the one <laughs> You're more nervous. What does that mean? You're more nervous than she is. I know. Yes. I know. I'm a mom, so. No, I get it. I'm Jessica, and this is... Brianna. She's my daughter, and I'm... Obviously, I'm the mom, but I can be the daughter, and she can be my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Brianna to the top. I will do anything, everything that I can. If you wear good vibes, you feel it. She's very competitive, this girl. Definitely. <laughs> I never, I never want to lose. Never. <laughs> when we fight and then we talk, I, I always cry. Oh, I, all the time. Why do you always have to cry? I said, what the heck? I, I don't have uterus. I don't have ovaries. And my hormones are <laughs> I talk about anything. Everything I I talk about S E X. <laughs> Brianna has a very unique face, and I think the world is ready for a new Asian star. And perfect. <laughs> the way she walks and carries herself, we could have a new future runway model. I can feel Jessica has been in the spotlight herself, but this is a moment in her life where she needs to learn to step back and allow Brianna to be in the light.
Have, have you done runway before? Not like in front of, yeah, no. Not in front Not of people. <laughs> Not in front of people. No, I see. I've done it in my room. <laughs> I am Karen, and my daughter is Michaela. And we're from Chicago. She's just cute as a button when she was younger, <laughs> so. Um, what about now? I know. <laughs> So actually, I did not have any modeling experience professionally, but I've done some practice photo shoots with high school photographers. You know, she's really independent. She has a very level head, and she's just a great young lady. <laughs> but outside of modeling, music happens to be my biggest dream. I write my own music, and I'm very, very, very passionate about piano. I'm a competitive person, but I'm not a violent competitive person. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> You film her? Yeah. When I see Michaela, I mean, I see sporty, I see beauty. I see her on the cover of magazines. <laughs> I've just met everybody, but energetically, I feel Karen and Michaela are very much in sync. And how tall are you? I, like, 5'8". <laughs> 5'8". Five eight. Five eight. She's very, very shy. She has social anxiety. What does it feel like to have social anxiety? Um, it's like, I've never really fit in, I guess you could say. Like, I don't raise my hand in class ever. Like, I don't want to put myself out there. Once she started modeling, just, it made a huge Gave difference. Gave her confidence. Yeah, yeah, she started talking and getting up in front of people. And then just, when she got in front of the camera, it was like a new person. I'm Teresa. I'm Mackenzie. I would say we are best friends, but she might be a little, a little uh, snotty sometimes. Yeah, I tried to let you in, but baby, this has been more than When we decided to go and try modeling, then they, they wanted her like right away. I was like, oh wow, you could actually really do this. I bring her coffee every morning. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes she gives me a dirty look. Because no, I'm tired. I just woke up. <laughs> sometimes I feel like her personal assistant, honestly. Mm -hmm. Since I was a baby, she always spoiled me, like, too much, like, way too much. I really regret doing everything, but I can't. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> I mean, I, I could be wearing rags. I will still go get her those new pair of Nikes. Hi, guys. We're on the plane, waiting to take off. Bye. She is so sweet, but then she can be... So mean. <laughs> For Mackenzie, her social anxiety could become an issue in this competition. But once she realizes she has what it takes, she could potentially do editorial or walk at Paris Fashion Week. Teresa seems overprotective, which is a bit of a red flag. This is something I need to keep my eye on. Thank you. They all bring something different. I don't know if all of them are going to be supermodels, but I'm willing to take a chance and really invest myself in trying to bring out the best in them. See you tonight at 5 o'clock. See you later. OK, bye-bye. Yep, thank you so much. <laughs> We're here! Mom, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bunk beds. <laughs> that would be interesting, bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I thought we were going to have our own room. Uh, don't leave me! <laughs> Yeah, I have nine luggages. I just want to make sure that Brianna will have everything. Outfits, shoes, and bags, or makeup, or even vagina wipes. Where do you buy those? She makes them. <laughs> it's moisturizing. Okay, hi, Michaela. Nice to meet you. 
Mackenzie, when I first saw her, I was like, bone structure is on point. <laughs> Hi. 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 All of these girls are a little bit overwhelming. It's going to be interesting. We'll stick together, honey. I always have your back. Hey, I'm Teresa. I'm Kat. Nice, nice to, to meet you. You all are so cute. Everybody's so pretty. Hi, I'm Hi. Nice to meet you. you. I'm a tomboy. I don't have girls that are friends. I have guys that are friends, because I can't deal with chicks. Ladies, can you come on down, please? Oh, How are you? Good. Good. Are you making yourselves at home? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Are you guys excited about sleeping in bunk beds with each other? Uh, I, already, I, I actually hit my head already. Hi, everybody. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York! This is my daughter, Bella. Hi! Oh my gosh! Bella, what? <laughs> With cupcakes. With cupcakes? Oh, she's crying! <laughs> I don't know why I cried. <laughs> Love, Bella, Bella, Bella. Oh my god. I'm as happy as you are to see her today, so. <laughs> Are you guys excited? I'm yeah. so excited. excited. I feel like I know you. Oh, I've seen your pictures before. This is so amazing. I think it's really important for the girls to meet Bella because Gigi and Bella are really successful right now and on the top of their game because they're very dedicated. So as you know, you're going to be here for eight weeks. This is our model boot camp. Through different assignments each week, we're going to give you the tools to become a successful model, like I did with Bella. <laughs> Now we're here. <laughs> At the end of the eight weeks, one of you will win a contract with me where I will guide you during the rest of your journey. And you have the chance of getting a contract with IMG Models. IMG, it's the best agency in the world. I mean, <laughs> you know, so just to be signed with them would be amazing. You know, the journey is tough. I mean, don't fool yourself. It's not, not every story is a success story. This is not a competition in a way that where you elbow other women because there's enough light for all of you to shine. As you know, none of our daughters are perfect. So early on, start embracing their imperfections. You can all be a Gigi or a Bella. You know, my girls are nothing more or better than you are, so believe in that. We're all women. We all have to empower each other, so there's no reason for anybody to be mean or discouraged or feel like you're worse or better than anybody because I think that we're all equal at the end of the day and you always have to be the best that you can be. Just hearing her talk like that, it's so powerful to hear it back after 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Really use this time to bond, because your mom is your number one fan. She's the one person that's not going to judge you, the one person that's going to love you unconditionally, because you came out of her. Remember that? <laughs> I, <laughs> I say we get started. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>
I don't see any of the girls as like direct threats. I'll put myself in the best position to win. Hello. I have some information from Yolanda for you guys. This is gonna be your first assignment. You're gonna have a photo shoot today. Go upstairs, grab an outfit that represents you. You have 15 minutes and I'm gonna time you. Running up the stairs in heels, here we go. Go. Oh my gosh. We'll take your big coat. Go no, your I big want to wear my big coat with this. OK. Representative of you is your track to go ahead and wear that. Unfold your pants, and you put these one on instead. It makes your legs look longer. The booty. I need blush, Mom. I have some. Are you sure? Yeah, I have some. There's pants, jeans over there in the corner. <gasps> we have two minutes. Yeah, OK, we have to go downstairs, Mom. Let's go. Yeah, well, we have to mix it. We have to come. It's fine. Let's go. Come on, we have to go downstairs. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what is yet to come? Welcome, everybody. We are in New York City at Times Square, the fashion capital of the world. Ladies, this is your first assignment. You're going to have 30 minutes to produce the one image that shows us exactly who it is that you are and what sets you apart from the rest of the world. Moms, you are the creative directors of this job today. Each pair will receive $50. You can use it however you want. You can buy makeup, you can buy a prop, whatever it is. The winner of this assignment is going to walk away with $5,000. <laughs> Use your time wisely. This is your opportunity to impress me right out of the gate. Moms, you are the creative directors of this job today. This is your opportunity to impress me right out of the gate. Go for it. I'm putting the control in the mom's hands today. I want the girls to show me that they can follow direction. And I really want to see who's listening and who is running the show. Come on, come on. We're going to try to go across here and hail a cab there. My first thought was to get her on the taxi because I felt like who she is, kind of the tomboy, the jean jacket. It's like country came to the big city. You know, mom just likes being in control. Yeah. For the first time in your life. No, shut up. Over me. We want that one. We want that one. Uh, no, somebody's in there. No. There's no more cabs. Where the heck are all the cabs? Taxi! Anybody? <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. Here we have your $50. We want to skip that. Okay, you want to skip that? Yeah. Like okay, we can totally skip that. It's totally up to you guys. Oh, okay. 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 Let's go. In my experience, a good model has the ability to make a good picture without any props, so we didn't need to spend the $50. Now lean into it more. My vision was really little girl in the big city, and I hope I captured that. Taxi! Anybody? Is, are they all full? So, seriously? Come on, come on, come on. We got it, we got it. It's gonna be good. Is this guy coming? Is this guy coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can she sit on the bumper? Yes, OK. <laughs> sit up straight. Pull the hair around. Kat seems to have a really heavy hand in Lillian's career. But I think we also need to learn to balance that out. Can I look at some shots? So far, from what I've seen from Lillian, it's a little bit over the top. I say we're going to look at the other team. Mm -hmm. I think we've seen enough. <laughs> I'm going to pin your hair to the side. I'm having trouble. I don't know what to do. I know, but you're going to have to just focus on your happy place and bring your energy up. I want this a is little so bit. I know. So many people. Don't focus on the people. I focus know, I know. on being in your own little world, OK? I am super nervous going into this. You know, it's the first assignment, and this kind of just like sets the mood for everything other assignment we're going to have. So I really want to make a really good first impression. Really feel it, Athena, stronger. Should I sit down? Yeah. 
I don't know if Athena would choose high heels for herself, but I believe it was Diana's choice. And in my opinion, it's a bad choice for a 13-year-old. Let's go right here. Oh. I wanna just do some right here in front of that. Maybe fluff up your hair a little bit, honey, and maybe take your coat off. Here's my coat. No? no? Okay. okay, so what do you guys want? Um, wanna try next to that, um, all those clothes under that t-shirt sign. You wanna just try it and see what you think? No? Well, honey, you better listen to me. <laughs> Today you're supposed to listen to me, but instead you're being difficult. We're trying to get the perfect shot. I'm not trying to take pictures in front of like a bunch of t-shirts. Can you try a jumping one where you go like that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess. I haven't been able to see Mackenzie take any direction from her mom. The mom is the art director today, but in real life, you cannot talk to an art director that way. You know, I really want to know when I send out my girls that they behave appropriate. Put your hands up, babe. Like, I made it. OK. Um, where, do you want to go somewhere else? Uh, 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 OK, uh, okay. Uh, well, you're doing more? <laughs> Interesting. She doesn't like mama she, yeah, giving her directions. Uh, Okay, sweetie. Yolanda was saying you need to take better direction. Okay. <laughs> Crap. We just screwed up. Um, where do you want to go? Somewhere else? Uh, 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 okay. okay. Well, you doing more? <laughs> she doesn't take very well directions of her mom. Did you see that? Interesting. Yolanda was saying you need to take better direction. OK. <laughs> right. Um, where do you want to go? Do you want to? Um... There's one thing I don't tolerate, and that's disrespect. Can we just do, like, like you walking from there? What kind of one do you want sitting down? Can we do one, like, sitting down on, like, one of the red chairs? Well, I want to go just. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to walk. I want to walk. Oh, my. Brianna, please listen to me. OK, OK. Can you please? What do you, what do you want? We can't go in here because there's too many people. It's OK. It's OK. Let's go. <laughs> Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Sometimes it is so hard to get my mom to listen when she's really excited. <laughs> oh, my god. This. Brianna, go down. Go down? Yeah, just, just just skip and skip, just like you're playing. You're 30 I years old. I can't skip with these heels. These are hard. I know. That's why you shouldn't be wearing heels, girl. So just skip. Jessica seems to be pushing for what she wants, rather than keeping in mind what Brianna needs. After all, she's 13 years old, and high heels are not part of her comfort zone yet. You're just happy to be in New York. This is it, girl. It's your time. Michaela is showing who she is. This is my girl. Give me some looks. Give me some looks. Play with your jacket. I like it. I like it. Turn around and look back. Yes. Who is in New York City? <laughs> so funny. Yes, that's my girl. OK, moving on. OK. <laughs> Let's go. Here we come, New York City. Michaela, OK, wave your cap. There you go. Beautiful. Get that cap. I really love watching Karen. I love the way she directs Michaela and how Michaela is receiving her direction. I hope that their strong teamwork will really translate in the picture because at the end of the day, that's what I'm looking for. Just walk here and just jump like you're happy. Because you're in New York, you had these opportunities and then you just jump. You know, it's interesting to see the different Thank energies and the yeah. different dynamics between the mom. Yeah. I don't want to jump, Ma. I don't really feel comfortable Where's doing that, that right be now. Be happy. Just be, have fun. Brianna, I don't think you're taking this seriously. It's a huge opportunity for you to be able to be managed by Yolanda and be signed up with IMG. I am taking this seriously. I just don't like jumping in high heels. Just jump like, I'm not good with jumping. Mom. Who is that? That's Michaela from Chicago. Kayla feels like this is my time to shine, but I got to study a little bit first. Michaela coming to New York for this competition is really a big decision for us because unlike the other girls who are being homeschooled, she still has to attend school. This is a big sacrifice for Michaela. So you guys, I better win. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me your favorite angle. That one. Yeah, I think that's good because you that can see one. New York this yeah. Yeah. So this is but your one. Is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jordan, we did it. Yes, we did it. Good, thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. Thanks.
Do you want to start with this with Yolanda? Hi, guys. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. I gave the moms full control this week, but they've gone way over the top. I would have loved to see less makeup, less hair, less accessories, and show me who their girls are from the inside. What is that picture saying, that top one? Uh, I'm bored. It looks, it looks, <laughs> I don't feel good in my high heels. That's, right. mm -hmm. right. That's what it like says me. to yes. me. Now right. this that is mm. beautiful. saying, I'm 13, I'm feeling this, I'm in New York City. Yeah. When I look at these pictures, I really miss the clean, natural looks of these girls that I just saw a couple of days ago. Yeah, most of them took a step backwards, really. Mm -hmm. I would say yeah. the same. I agree. Yeah. I think that it was a hectic and amazing day, but I can really tell that there is a lot of work to be done with the models and with their moms as managers. Thank you, everybody, for your input. Ellie, is there? A, can you call the house? Yes. And ask them to meet us for dinner tonight at six o'clock. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Yolanda. Thank you. Ali called us, and we're going to this dinner where we get to find out who's going to take home this $5,000 and one step closer into winning the IMG contract. This is exciting. <laughs> there you go. Did you have a hard time choosing the photo? Oh, my god. Yeah. And when it's, it's your kid, yeah. you think they're all really pretty great. Going into dinner tonight, we have a big chance at winning this. Yeah. Her 5000 yeah. not mine. Mine. Even though I helped you get it. You ain't getting one cent. Good evening, everybody. Hi. How is everybody? Good. Well, I guess you guys are really anxious to get to it. So this week, I acted as the client. Going forward, you're going to be working with some of the biggest names in the fashion industry. You might not agree at all with what's going on. But at the end of the day, the client is the boss. And it's very important for you to learn early on. By looking at the pictures, I can definitely see who followed instructions and who didn't. So I think we start with Brianna and Jessica. Love the colors, the brightness of the background. You were feisty. You told those people, move on down. My daughter is shooting in Times Square, right? I saw that. But Brianna, now we really want to see who it is that you are at age 13. Okay. I looked at all your pictures. I like this image. This, to me, is a 13-year-old walking on Times Square. OK, so I think you chose the wrong image. OK. Mackenzie and Teresa. This is the image that you chose. Yes. I love the way you use the location. To me, I'm like, OK, that's Times Square. But there's something about the image that doesn't capture me. I think it's too posed, and you're a lot more beautiful than this. Well, it was kind of stressful because we just got like 30 minutes, got to take all these pictures, got to choose a picture, got to buy something. I thought we did well. Kenzie listened for the most part. The most part? Yeah, in the beginning, I think she forgot that I was in charge. I also saw you shush your mom. I didn't like that. The next one is Athena and Diana. I loved your hair, I loved your clean face, but I feel like you look indifferent. I'm not feeling your soul. She has this look that's just like soul piercing. Yeah. So I was trying to bring that out. Yeah. And at the same time have the like hustle and bustle. But you know, remember a 13 year old in high heels, not age appropriate. I think it made her uncomfortable because she's not used to obviously wearing high heels. Athena has spent a good amount of time practicing in heels. It's not something that she would wear normally, but this is a model boot camp, right? Yet the last shot of your 30 minutes was this. This speaks to me. I look at this image and go like, wow, that makes me feel something. So wrong choice of picture, but good job on nailing it in the last shot. So start working from here. All right, Michaela and Karen, I love this. What I love is the way you work together. Yes, <laughs> my baby. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. But may your eyes speak what's in your heart, because this is a dead stare. The images, but they're still not a 10. We have things to work on. Lillian and Kat, I love the taxi. Thank you. You paid that guy yeah. those 50 bucks, and you're like, you're here to stay. Yes. <laughs> but I'm not loving your face 100%. I love this. 
this has it all. This moment, she goes, Mom, what do I do up here? And I said, just feel it. And she and felt it. And I said, you're going to be it. up here one day on one of those. Okay, okay. That's right, yeah. Lillian and Kat and Michaela and Karen, you guys are in the top two this week. But there can only be one winner. <laughs> I love to win. If I'm a loser, oh. The winner of this week's challenge is... The winner of this week's challenge for $5,000 is Michaela. Congratulations. I'm glad she won, but I don't feel like she deserved to win. She was on the ground with books. Congratulations. Thank you. We won! We won. <laughs> I think her hug was worth $5,000. There you go. <laughs> she gave me the envelope. I was like, I like the hug more. <laughs> Keep working hard, I OK? Will. This Thank is you. only the beginning. Karen, congratulations. This is only week one. But I need these girls to understand that this business is much more than being just a pretty face. This is about perfecting the craft that they've chosen. And I have a lot of work to do, not just with the girls, but also with their moms. So this week, Athena and Brianna, you guys are in the middle. You didn't move the needle. So we're going to work from here, OK? Mackenzie, you're going to be in the bottom this week. Mackenzie? Hey, tell her why you're tell, upset. Tell me why you're upset. Huh? You're making me cry, honey. This is about you reaching your personal best. And that's going to grow every week you're here. It's just like, tell me, it's okay. The fact that um, I came off disrespectful because me and my mom have a special bond. <laughs> the Academy Award for the most dramatic person at the table is Mackenzie. Congrats. It's all about respect for me. And it's OK. We're going up from here on, OK? Thank you. All right. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody, for doing a great job and doing your personal best. And even though we have a lot of things to work on, I say tonight we celebrate. A toast to everybody. Yeah, everybody, a great job. Great job. <laughs> Oh, man. What a day. I know. All that suspense, I feel like, oh, now I can, like, breathe. It was up here? I, know. <laughs> I kind of feel like what she said about my stuff made me sound, like, bad for future clients oh. by saying, by saying that I'm not giving them a chance. It's, like, the first week, and of course I have to mess up the first week. She's just taking that critique so hard. Well, and it's off of a couple of moments, not like without getting to know you. She's saying that I disagree with clients and like, you're my mom. Like, I'm going to disagree <laughs> with you. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're not my client. That's true. Yeah. Ah, oh, sweetie. Aw, oh, baby. You're fine. I would just rather have it be messing up on modeling rather than my personality. You're a sweetheart. Everyone will see that. And you need to just move forward now. I think people misjudge her, which I get because that's happened to me my whole life. <laughs> just this whole thing is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yolanda saw that she was mean to her mom, and she is mean to her mom. So why, why cry about it? She. Uh was rude about Yolanda down there. She was like, how could she disrespect me like that? She made me look so bad in front of everybody. Who? She wouldn't eat because she was too busy crying. Oh, I feel bad. 
I sadly got second. I'm gonna start crying just thinking about it, but there's already a girl bawling, so don't do that. Remember, Brianna, I warned you about this. I told her when I was modeling, I cried a lot. It's not for the faint of heart. Even as her mom, if you're gonna cry, mm -hmm. I mean, there's certain times, you know, you're gonna break down. It's gonna get yeah. tough or whatever, but mm -hmm. not just fall apart. <laughs> I think I really deserve to cry because I got second. You're shooting for one of the biggest brands in America. Oh, I'm Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Oh, my God. There is a lot at stake for you. You better pull up the bootstraps. Beauty shines from within, so fight for it. One, two, three, go. That ain't gonna work. Your mom is your number one fan. I told you, you're not gonna sit here and be negative. This is too sexy for Athena. You also have to be open and willing to learn. You were a super mom backstage. Good job. It seems to be a little favoritism. I have one more surprise. <laughs> we're new roommates, guys. Yeah. You are choosing this life for her. Maybe she should come back when she's 17. I've done all I can do. I feel like I want to go home. I'm done. I'm done. It hurts? Yeah. That's part of the job. Supermodels aren't born overnight. I want this opportunity so bad. This is a contract to be represented by me. And the winner is 